Hello everybody and welcome to my third VBA 2010 tutorial and uh, this tutorial is going to teach you how to use the cells um, object. So the cells object is very similar to the the range object. Um, I'm just going to clear all of these off uh, for now. Um, the first thing you need to do again is reference the workbook. So just put this workbook dot and then sheets again. Sheet one. Um, and then this time, instead of typing in range, we're going to type in cells uh, and then open bracket. Now, cells as uh, as an object um, or a method takes two parameters. So the first parameter it's going to take is going to be the number of the row and then the second one it's going to take is going to be the number of the column so if I put in 1 comma 1 and then close brackets um, so this is how you separate your two parameters with a comma so we've got row number 1 and then comma and then column number 1 don't put speech marks in this time um, because you want to be passing the actual numbers into the uh, into, into the uh, object uh, and then again we can just use dot value to reference the value I'm going to put it, put it as this cell has been referenced using cells and then that's it and rather than going out and pressing Alt F8, Alt F8 this time um, I'm just going to press play up here uh, so if you just press that then whichever sub procedure you're in it's just going to um, it's just going to run that pr sub procedure so if we go back in here uh, and we open up this cell so we can see it and you'll notice then that this has changed that cell already we can then if we change this, so let's put this as row 2, column 1, if we play this, play, and then that's changed row number 2 and column number 1. And we can keep going, so let's put this to 5, uh, so row 2, column 5, let's press play. And then our row number two and column number one, two, three, four, five, and this one's been changed. Um, so that's how you use cells. Uh, again, you can do, you can put numbers in, uh, and we can also copy this and put it on this side. Uh, and so we can make this cell equal to the cell above it by changing this to a 1. I can play this now. And now it's gone, it disappeared out of the cell. If we type something in here, so this cell will be copied. And then press play in here. And then it's copied the cell down. Um, you can also do, and you can do this with range as well, we can do a little bit of, of adding on. Um, so if we put a uh, plus and then 1 here, and then we put 5 in here, and if we play this now, then you notice that this has now gone to 6. Um, so we've taken the value of this cell uh, and we've just added one to it. Um, you can do the same thing, uh, so let's say we put this back to 2. Uh, so this is going to take the value of this cell, it's going to add one to it and then put it back into the own, it, its own cell. So at the moment it's 6. If we press play on here, it's going to turn it to 7. 
and then if we keep running it, so run, it's going to go to 8, run, 9, and it's just going to keep going. So that's how you can just keep adding to a cell. Uh, so that's it for the sales method, it's very straightforward. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reference uh, rows and columns. So thanks for listening. I hope to catch you in the next tutorial. Uh, goodbye.